Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Morning Prayer for Monday, January the 2nd. The scripture for this service, Psalm 34, verses 1 through 14. John chapter 6, verses 1 through 14. And the canticle is from Revelation chapter 19, verse 1 through 7. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I bless you at all times. Your praise continually in my mouth. Alleluia. Psalm 34. I bless you at all times. Your praise is continually in my mouth. My soul makes her boast in you. The humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, magnify God the Most High with me, and let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. We looked to you and were lightened, and our faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and you heard me, and you saved me of all my troubles. Your angel encamps around them that fear you, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek you shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of God the Most High. What are we that we desire life, and love many days that we may see good? Keep your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise is continually in my mouth. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Feeding the 5,000 Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias, and a large crowd kept following him, because they saw the signs he was doing for the sick. And Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover festival of the Jews was near, and when he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? And he said this to test them, for he himself knew what was going to happen. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, there is a boy here who has five loaves and two fish. But what are, we, what are they among so many people? And Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. And then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish as much as they wanted. And when they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. And so they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. And when the people saw this sign that he had done, they began to say, This indeed is the prophet who is to come into the world. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. In peace we pray to you, God, for all people in their daily life and work, for our families and friends and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For the mercy of God community, for Joe and Tom, Alan, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen, William, Don, Max, Todd, Brian, Daniel, Raymond, 
Richard, William, and all the Mercy of God associates. For this community, this nation, and the whole world, and for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and the proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger and fear, injustice, and oppression, for the unemployed, especially for Robert and Carrie and for Brian, for all who are in danger or sorrow or any kind of trouble, for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy, for a cure for cancer, for the sick especially, Ed, for the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie, and for the incarcerated, especially Christian. For peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. For Tom, Alan, Ray, Richard, and Don, and for all of our church leaders, for all ministers, for all who serve God in the church. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. We pray for all who died, especially Margaret and William and John William David, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, salvation and glory and power to our God. Hallelujah, a canticle from the book of Revelation. Salvation and glory and power to our God. For God's judgments are just, true and just. And God has judged the great whore who has corrupted the earth with her fornication. And God has avenged on her the blood of his servants. Hallelujah, the smoke goes up from her forever and ever. Amen, hallelujah. Praise our God, all you servants of God, and all who fear God, small and great. Hallelujah, for the Sovereign, our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exalt, and give God the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal Word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, salvation and glory and power to our God. Hallelujah. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.